an alien intelligence exploring the octopus mind. The octopus, a creature of the deep, has captivated our imaginations for centuries. These fascinating beings have been the subject of myths, legends, and scientific curiosity alike. With their bulbous heads, large, intelligent eyes, and eight sinuous arms, octopuses seem to embody an alien intelligence. Their ability to change color and texture at will, blending seamlessly into their surroundings, adds to their otherworldly allure. Indeed, their remarkable abilities to solve problems, change color and texture, and even use tools have led scientists to recognize them as one of the most intelligent invertebrates on Earth. These creatures can navigate complex mazes, open jars to retrieve food, and even use coconut shells as portable shelters. What makes the octopus mind so fascinating is its unique structure and organization. Unlike any other creature, the octopus has a nervous system that is both centralized and decentralized, allowing for a level of autonomy in its limbs that is unparalleled in the animal kingdom. Unlike vertebrates, whose intelligence is centralized in the brain, octopuses possess a decentralized nervous system with over 500 million neurons distributed throughout their bodies, particularly in their arms. This means that each arm can operate independently, sensing, processing, and reacting to stimuli without direct input from the central brain. This distributed intelligence allows each arm to act semi-independently, processing information and making decisions without constant input from the central brain. This unique feature enables the octopus to perform multiple complex tasks simultaneously, such as manipulating objects with one arm while exploring its environment with another. This unique neural architecture raises intriguing questions about the nature of intelligence and consciousness. How do these creatures perceive their world? What does it mean to have a mind that is both centralized and decentralized? These questions challenge our understanding of cognition and push the boundaries of what we consider intelligent life. In this exploration of the octopus mind, we will delve into the intricacies of their nervous system, examine their remarkable abilities, and grapple with the ongoing debates surrounding their consciousness. Scientists are continually uncovering new insights into how these creatures think, learn, and interact with their environment. Join us on this journey as we unravel the mysteries of these enigmatic creatures and gain a deeper appreciation for the diversity and wonder of the natural world. Through studying the octopus, we not only learn about their incredible capabilities but also gain insights into the broader questions of life, intelligence, and the myriad ways nature has evolved to solve the challenges of survival. A decentralized network. The octopus's unique brain structure. To understand the octopus's remarkable intelligence, we must first examine its unique brain structure. Unlike humans and other vertebrates, the octopus has evolved a highly specialized and decentralized nervous system that allows it to perform complex tasks with incredible efficiency. The octopus nervous system is a marvel of evolutionary engineering, distinct from our own vertebrate design. This unique system has allowed the octopus to adapt to its environment in ways that are both fascinating and highly effective. While our intelligence is centralized in our brains, the octopus distributes its neural power throughout its body. This means that instead of relying on a single brain to process all information, the octopus has multiple centers of neural activity. Imagine a network where information flows not just from a central hub, but also from numerous independent nodes. This is essentially how the octopus's nervous system operates, allowing for a level of flexibility and responsiveness that is unparalleled in the animal kingdom. This decentralized system is not just a theoretical concept, it has real-world implications for how the octopus interacts with its environment. Each arm of the octopus can operate semi-independently, making decisions and reacting to stimuli without needing to consult the central brain. The octopus brain, located in its head, contains about 100 million neurons. This central brain is responsible for higher level processing and decision making, much like our own brains. However, the majority of its neurons, over 400 million, are located in its arms. These neurons are not just passive conduits for information, 
they are actively involved in processing sensory data and controlling movement. These neurons are organized into clusters called ganglia, which act as mini-brains, processing sensory information and controlling movement. Each ganglion can make decisions independently, allowing the octopus to react quickly and efficiently to its surroundings. This decentralized system allows the octopus to perform multiple tasks simultaneously. For instance, while one arm is exploring a crevice for food, another arm can be engaged in a completely different activity, such as manipulating an object or even defending against a predator. For example, an octopus can search for food with one arm, while another arm is busy changing the color and texture of its skin to camouflage itself with the surroundings. This ability to multitask is not just a neat trick. It is a crucial survival strategy that allows the octopus to thrive in its often hostile environment. This remarkable multitasking ability highlights the efficiency and adaptability of the octopus's distributed intelligence. By decentralizing its neural processing, the octopus can perform complex behaviors that would be difficult or impossible for a creature with a more centralized nervous system. It's like having eight brains working in parallel, each capable of independent action and decision-making. This level of autonomy allows the octopus to be incredibly versatile and adaptive, capable of responding to a wide range of challenges and opportunities in its environment. The octopus's unique brain structure also contributes to its problem-solving abilities. Studies have shown that octopuses can use tools, solve puzzles, and even escape from enclosures, all of which require a high level of cognitive function. Additionally, octopuses have demonstrated the ability to learn from experience and remember solutions to problems, further showcasing the capabilities of their decentralized nervous system. This combination of intelligence, adaptability, and autonomy makes the octopus one of the most fascinating creatures in the animal kingdom. In conclusion, the octopus's unique brain structure is a testament to the power of evolutionary innovation. By distributing its neural processing across its body, the octopus has developed a system that is both highly efficient and incredibly versatile, allowing it to thrive in a wide range of environments. Whether it's solving complex problems, adapting to new challenges, or simply navigating its underwater world, the octopus's decentralized brain structure is a key factor in its success. This remarkable creature continues to captivate scientists and enthusiasts alike, offering valuable insights into the possibilities of neural architecture and intelligence. Eight arms, eight brains, understanding distributed intelligence. The octopus, a fascinating marine creature, has long intrigued scientists and researchers with its unique neurological structure. Unlike most animals, the octopus's nervous system is not centralized in a single brain. Instead, it is distributed throughout its body, particularly in its arms. The concept of distributed intelligence in octopuses has led some scientists to propose that each arm essentially has a mind of its own. This means that each arm can operate independently, processing information and making decisions without needing to consult the central brain. This decentralized approach to intelligence is quite different from what we see in most other animals. While this might seem like science fiction, there is compelling evidence to support this notion. Studies have shown that octopus arms can perform complex tasks on their own, such as opening jars or manipulating objects without direct input from the central brain. This ability to function autonomously is a remarkable adaptation that allows the octopus to be highly efficient in its environment. Each arm can act independently, responding to stimuli and making decisions without direct instructions from the central brain. This means that if an octopus arm encounters a potential threat or a source of food, it can react immediately without waiting for signals from the brain. This rapid response capability is crucial for the octopus's survival in the wild. For instance, a severed octopus arm can continue to move and react to touch for a short period, 
This phenomenon occurs because the arm contains its own neural circuitry, which allows it to process sensory information and generate motor responses independently. This level of autonomy is rare in the animal kingdom and highlights the unique evolutionary path of the octopus. This suggests that the arm possesses a certain degree of autonomy capable of basic sensory processing and motor control even when detached from the body. Researchers have observed that octopus arms can learn and adapt to new situations, demonstrating a form of localized intelligence that is distinct from the central brain. Furthermore, research has shown that octopuses can learn new tasks using only one arm, even if the other arms are restrained. This ability to learn and remember tasks independently of the central brain suggests that each arm has its own neural network capable of processing information and storing memories. This indicates that each arm has its own learning and memory capabilities. The distributed intelligence of the octopus allows it to be incredibly versatile and adaptable, able to respond to a wide range of environmental challenges with ease. The octopus's distributed intelligence allows for incredible flexibility and adaptability. This decentralized system enables the octopus to perform multiple tasks simultaneously, with each arm acting independently yet cohesively as part of the whole organism. It enables them to react quickly to their environment, making lightning-fast decisions without relying solely on the central brain. This rapid decision-making process is essential for the octopus's survival, allowing it to evade predators, capture prey, and navigate complex underwater landscapes with remarkable efficiency. This decentralized system is a testament to the power of alternative evolutionary pathways in shaping intelligence and problem-solving abilities. The octopus's unique approach to intelligence challenges our traditional understanding of how brains and nervous systems work, offering new insights into the diverse ways that life on Earth can evolve to solve complex problems. Masters of Disguise, the octopus's remarkable ability to change color and texture. One of the most captivating aspects of octopus behavior is their remarkable ability to change color and texture in the blink of an eye. This extraordinary camouflage allows them to blend seamlessly with their surroundings, making them practically invisible to both predators and prey. But how do they achieve this mesmerizing feat of disguise? The answer lies in the intricate interplay between the octopus's nervous system, skin cells, and muscles. Their skin contains specialized pigment cells called chromatophores, which are controlled by muscles that receive direct signals from the octopus's brain. When these muscles contract, they expand the chromatophores, revealing the pigments within. By coordinating the contraction and relaxation of different muscle groups, the octopus can create an astonishing array of colors and patterns. They can mimic the texture of rocks, coral or seaweed, making it nearly impossible for unsuspecting prey to detect their presence. This dynamic camouflage is not merely a passive response to the environment, it's an active process of information processing and decision-making.